What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's currently looking up a tutorial. What's up? Hey, Is someone here? I think it might be my brother. Hold on. You're so cool. Oh, damn. So we are installing the Grimsby air oil separator. We're trying to. So uh, we were trying to figure this out for like a good, I don't know, what time is it? Like 2 o'clock? It's 2.30 bro. Yeah, we started this at like 10 o'clock. It, it took us 4 hours to install this because these instruction videos suck. On so, we yeah. call out the individual Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, these instruction videos suck, so we're going to make this simple and clean as possible. Are you recording? There you go. Alright, so first we're going to start off with this oil cap. So basically, you're just going to re replace the oil cap with the, the air oil separator tool itself. So it's going to come like this, so all you have to do is just pop it out. And then you're going to put this on here. And then screw this on. What bolt size? It is a 19 millimeter. So now I'm gonna show you how uh, all the lines are wired and what you're gonna disconnect. Before you do anything, uh, I recommend taking off the intercooler. It'll make everything a lot easier to remove. I mean, here's the, here's the intercooler, as you guys can see. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is locate the white clamp right here this white module right here will be the first thing you're going to disconnect so what you want to do is you're going to disconnect the the hose from the black side and uh which is going to be this one right here so then now you're going to get the adapter and then plug the adapter into the hose that goes into your intake manifold and then you're going to get your supplied hose and then you're gonna route it through to this middle uh, AOS uh, knob thing, whatever you want to call it. So the next step after you connect it to the center right here is you're gonna go back to the white uh, module, which this black side should be open. So you're gonna need to get uh, your supplied and hose and cut a uh, a small amount just to, enough for like you to, yeah, like two and a half inches, just enough for you to uh, fit it onto the fittings. And then you're gonna use the T fitting that they supply you by Grim Speed. And then you're gonna fit that on there. And then you're gonna get another, use your, you're gonna use your supply hose and connect it to the right side of the uh, Grim Speed. So next, we're gonna show you how to connect this left side of the Grim Speed module and this extra port on the T fitting which is gonna be open still and which these two are gonna be coming straight from the passenger side. Alright so now that we're on the left side you're gonna look for the same white uh, module looking thing which is right here it should be right here it will be connected to this hard uh, I don't even know what you call this piece but there is a, a clamp on there that's really hard to get off. So you're gonna wanna cap that, if you guys can see right here. There is a cap right there. And that's all supplied by the by Grim Speed. So once you get that off and you cap that, this hose right here will be free. And you're gonna want to get your supply hose and uh, stretch it all the way over here and this this hose will connect to the the open T uh, the open T fitting, so it goes straight from this module straight to the T. That is everything from this left side, and then now we will head to the PCV uh, caps and whatnot. All right, I'm gonna pass this camera over to my man Isaac because he did the PCV stuff while I was working on the the other fittings. From where we unplugged it you'll see another white clip just like on the first one that he showed you right down here. Uh, easiest way is to unplug the actual harness and then you get this black piece that 
where the hose is actually plumbed into. You'll want to remove the hose that comes stock into that harness and plug it with the little plug and then zip tie it off that, that uh, Grimsby gives you. And then it's as simple as putting that hose that goes into the first the first plug on the actual the left hand. Oh man, I unplugged it. <laughs> unplugged it. <laughs> no, it's pretty easy. It clicks back into place, but so plumb it up and then it goes into that first module and then we the third one now. Okay, yeah, that one's out the third one. This is a good demonstration. We'll go right back into it. If I can find it, I can't even see. You'll see the little, it looks like an orange plug. Simply clicks into place. There you go, you'll hear it click. Perfect. Just like that. Is that it, guys? That's it for that's the it. plumbing. Yeah. yeah, that's it for all the plumbing. I mean, that's... But yeah. That's and literally everything. And that is how you do an AOS separator on the 2013 Subaru WRX. Alright guys, see y'all in the next video. Hit it.